2K Sports. on paper, this one appears to be lopsided, Here we go. but you can never count out a team in this league, Brent. And we know both teams know that. I expect this to be a hard-fought game for that reason alone. Nobody likes being told that they don't have a chance. And checking out the opening lineup for Memphis. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Santi Aldama out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Williams in at the three spot. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. And Morant gets it to go. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Holmgren goes in. And the big finish by Holmgren. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like a circus in here. Here's Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren's got seven points in the game. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Aldama. Back to Payne. Pass to Moran. The crossover. And then Morant with the jam. Leave it to Morant to shock the defense like this. I mean, just putting it on a string. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander are really something to see. Yeah, an incredible instinctual scorer and just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others, this guy is an elite offensive player. Here's Aldama. The Thunder making their last shot. Spins. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. And the foul on Santa. Aldama. That's his first foul of the game. And stolen by Williams. Great energy and activity on defense. Bain finds Jackson. Close the alley-oop. Wow, he doesn't miss many of those. He's such a strong finisher and tight. The Grizzlies have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Pass to Moran. Oh, oh hey, how about that? That's impressive. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. I mean, just an agile move by Moran down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. The Grizzlies have gone four of six in the first quarter. Payne, the pass to Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Just electric. Ja Moran. I mean, someone you paid to see. Gilgis Alexander against Payne. Williams from long range. Drills it from deep. Williams has got five. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Fires in the triple. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Yeah, and the rookie is showing up. Holmgren forces his way through and gets the and-one opportunity. Many people were disappointed that Chet Holmgren lost his rookie year to injury break. Well, none more so than Chet Holmgren, who's an incredible competitor. But all of the talk is the anticipation around him coming back more well-built, more skilled, and ready for the league and what it has to offer a big man. The whistle for the blocking foul. He'll head to the line. The boundless athleticism Morant has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack mode. He hits the second from the line. Well, Brent, this Thunder team is so young, but poised to be a factor now. How much does the play and experience factor in for these young guys? Well, I think it's huge, B.A. They're going to be hungry. It's so crucial for young players because the next time that they're there, it's not going to be the first time. So this team is going in the right direction. For Memphis, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Aldama, left side. 
Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Here's Bain. Rips it home off a terrific move. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Here's Williams. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And there's the drive. Just five on the clock. Williams misses. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. And here's Moran outside. Kicks it out to Bain. Pass to Jackson. Another shot. And the shot goes down. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Williams with it. Here's Giddy. Hounded by Moran. Back to Williams. And he lobs it up top. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. Ja Moran. He's feeling it tonight. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offense. for a better one right now just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes wonderful start on the court for the Grizzlies Mark is smart out there with Luke Kennard then it's Brandon Clark then it's Jackson and it's Stevens in at the power forward position now here's smart and the three off target here's Wallace driving to the basket Hayward outside no one near him. It's rebounded by Memphis. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. It's stolen by Smart. To the inside. Stevens, the pass to Smart. Clark, left side. Jackson surveying the D. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Kennard outside. Takes a three. Can't get it to go. Making him 0 for 2. Oklahoma City trailing. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalizing. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, the Thunder are still developing, but Shea Gilgis Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Memphis. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense. 
Getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers. They're capitalizing on Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. Memphis has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Thunder shooting around 50% in the game so far. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. And I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one errant pass. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Kennard can't get it to go. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And he lobs it up top. Ooh, basket interference. The Grizzlies have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Pass to Smart. Kicks it out to Jackson. There's the triple. They get it back. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Doubled by Jackson. Williams passes to Hayward. Here's Joe. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kennard. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Wiggins, no good. And the Grizzlies shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Kicks it out to Jackson. Wiggins with a steal. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Out of bounds. It'll be Grizzlies ball. Memphis ball. And here's Memphis. Right now on a 9-0 run. Hayward with a steal. Here's Joe. Defended by Smart. Pass to Hayward. From the arc. Smart grabs a miss. And Memphis shooting only 36% during the second. Here's Stevens. Now Kennard. Fires the three. And he gets it to go. Now two of six in the game. And if the defense is going to shut down one thing with Kennard, I'd start with the three-point shooting. Here's Wallace. Pass to Joe. Fires the three. Here's Williams. Grizzlies with the rebound. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Kennard can't get it to go. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Jackson outside. Smart outside. Pass to Kennard. Six to shoot. Back to Smart. Ooh, the soft touch. Smart. And passes like that demonstrate just how much Kennard is a team-oriented player. Stolen by Kennard. From deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Kennard's got nine. And that's impressive stuff as Kennard was out there from deep. And so it's Memphis feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. In at forward, it's Jordan Williams. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the center spot. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Drains the triple. And Grant is someone whose career spanned eras. You feel playing defense is more difficult than it was two decades ago? Oh, B.A., it's much more difficult. In part, because the contact allowed is much more strict. Shooters can create contact and be rewarded with free throws. And the skill level on offense has truly raised. It makes it tough for the defender to really get down and play that tough nose defense. He'll just Alexander from outside. They grab their own miss. Kitty finds Holmgren. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. That's going to send Ja Morant to the line. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. Oklahoma City's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. There's the drive. Excellent D there from Aldama. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Throws it up high. Such an improved part of SBA's game. Love his passing skills. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Pass to Aldama. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. All right, let's get a report from Alley. Brian, diversity is certainly valued in the NBA, but Commissioner Adam Silver said we should have more women coaches. We should have a female head coach right now. We should have more women referees. As much as we've led in certain areas, we're a bit behind in this area. It's something we're working very hard on. Brian? All right, great point there, Allie. Good stuff. We appreciate it. And what's really impressive about Josh Giddy is his versatility. And at such a young age, Brent. Yeah, Giddy at 6'8", BA, I think it's awesome because his size allows his skills to be accelerated and magnified. He sees over the top of a lot of defenders, and he can outquick them, not with his feet, but with the pass. And here's the fast break. Tipped. Oh, stolen by Moran. Williams on the wing. Giddy defends. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Once Ja Morant gets rolling, there is no stopping him. Ja is feeling it tonight. Out of bounds, it'll be Memphis's ball. So Memphis ends up going with a new group. For Memphis, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Smart for three. Dort grabs the miss. Oklahoma City's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Gilgis Alexander coming at you in a lot of ways right now. So a thorn in the defensive side. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in for Holmgren. Wiggins comes in for Williams. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Dort. And Joe's subbed in for Giddy. Kennard outside. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Clark. Let's a floater go. That one's good for two. Clark's got six. And for the Thunder, their shooting has been excellent in the third quarter at 57%. Here's Joe. Sinks it from distance. Yeah, when Hayward has the ball, he watches all the angles. That's how he finds wide open guys to feed. Shot from the top of the key. Smart with the bucket. Smart. Smart's got his second basket of the game. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Hey, great communication on the lob. Saw his teammate with a path to the rim, and boom, lobbed it up there beautifully. Very smooth catch and finish. 
And the basket by Clark. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of tussle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And here's Clark for three. The Thunder pull it in. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. For Memphis, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Kennard finds Clark. Over Wiggins. Clark, no good. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Here's Kennard. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. And stolen by Clark. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Memphis Grizzlies. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we note, is peripheral vision. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. We've got Marcus Smart. He's out there with Luke Kennard. Jackson out there with Brandon Clark. And it's Stevens in at the four. It's stolen by Smart. On the break. Jackson with it. Hayward picks him up. Jackson can't get it to go. Well, next time he should do a better job, I think, of getting balanced and set up his feet. That just throws your body way out of whack and hurts your percentages. Here's Wiggins. Oh, he misses the easy stuff. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. And Hayward has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Wiggins. Dort, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Josh Giddy in for Joe. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. And how about the defense from Jackson Jr.? Doing just about whatever he can to make shooters uncomfortable. All down the right side. And he's going for the oop here. And the dunk by Jackson. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Most nights, this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Pass to Bain. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. And it's good. Two points. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but... It's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Morant with the bucket. Yeah, Morant showing a bit of confidence knocking down that three. Outside for Dort. The three is up. It's the trifecta. So Dort's got himself on the board with a three there. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. The kick out to Williams. Launches a three. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. And, and Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. Little turnaround. Not going to go that time. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Thunder able to keep possession. The Thunder have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. The three from Bain sinks the tray. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. Well, something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff. you got to be careful when you're handling the ball around. And that's
that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense, positioning himself well to send it back. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Outside for Dort. The three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Dort has that great compact fire hydrant type of build, and he'll take that kind of contact. Good on the second one. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why B.A. has got this low center of gravity, he gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. Oklahoma City, they're working against the clock now. Williams from long range. Offensive rebound. Gilgis Alexander from deep. Giddy nails it from three. Tight quarters there over in the corner, but Giddy made it look like home. Outside Moran. Let's the three fly. Oh, a bomb from John. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. And he lobs it up for the rim. And the dunk by Jackson. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort. And you have to give it up for the Grizzlies. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Ja Moran. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Four on the clock. Stolen by Jackson. Aldama, the pass to Williams. And stolen by Holmgren. Stolen by Jackson. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And he's going for the lob. It doesn't go for him. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players reacting. Oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Pass to Holmgren. Stolen. Right side, Bain. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. Shooting for Memphis. And the technical free throw is good. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. How'd they pull that off, B.A.? Right? I'm not sure. A tremendous play. And stolen by Williams. And so it's the Grizzlies. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks.